is going on guys? My name is Bryce Till. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're in the bait shop, but we're not gonna be making baits. We're gonna be building a fishing rod. And this is my first time doing this, so I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. So stay tuned. Let's see what happens. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find the backbone of the rod blank. Uh, this is a MHX ultralight rod blank, six foot six. Uh, we're gonna be going on a crappie fishing trip. So I'm building this rod to take crappie fishing and this will be my new crappie rod. But anyways, to find the backbone, you just wanna hold it, kind of flex it somewhere kind of in the middle where the backbone is and then just roll it and where it stops, that's the backbone. I've already marked it with a grease pencil so, I've, so I can see it, but if I roll it over and I roll it, where it stops and you can definitely feel feel it stop it doesn't want to roll anymore that's the backbone of the rod right there just like that that's the backbone so now I've got the backbone I've already got it marked down there I'm gonna take my grease pencil and make a mark up here at the top and that way I know that's the side that the real seat and the eyelets are gonna go on because this is gonna be a spinning rod. So on to the next step. All right, so the next step is figuring out where I wanna put the real seat and the handle components. So I've got the rod here with the backbone facing up. So I'll just set things in place and mark where they should go with my grease pencil. That's kind of how I want this rod to be laid out. So the next step will be drilling all these components out. We're gonna check them uh, make, to make sure they fit, putting them on there without any adhesive, and then we'll mix up our epoxy and we'll glue these things on here. All right, so I used the masking tape. I made a shim. Uh, it took quite a bit to put on there uh, because this rod is such a thin uh, diameter, but I was able to use enough tape that it actually does fit on there pretty snugly. So now we're just gonna put more epoxy where the real seat goes. And we're going to slide the real seat on. Just like we've done everything else so far. And then find our white line, which is right there. And now we've got the real seat lined up with the backbone. Clean that up. Use that resin right there. Push the rest of the handle down. And then I'll take a paper towel and we'll clean all that up. Use a little bit of alcohol to clean that up. There we go. All right, I'm gonna let that set and dry for a little while. Then the next step is we're gonna start putting the eyes on. 
Okay, so now it's time to put the eyes on the rod. I marked where I want to put each eye with a white dot and I basically came up with that by laying this blank next to one of my seven foot bass rods. This is a six foot six blank. So I just made marks about an inch behind each one of the eyelets on my bass rod. And uh, so that's where we're gonna place the eyes on this rod. And to do that, we need to, uh, first thing is I've already filed down the foot of this eye so that it'll set flat on there so I, I sanded it down with the file then you just need to take a piece of tape and tape it to where we want it to set and I basically want it right where the front of that point is touching that white dot Take our thread, make a couple of loops, and then just tape that down. Then we're going to take this piece and go over the top of that tag in that we've created and make a couple of wraps. Once we've done that, we can take the tape off, and as you see, we've still got good tension. I'm just going to cut that tag end off. And now just continue to wrap. Now we've picked up the eyelet, so we're going to wrap it all the way to where, all the way to where it tapers off, which would be right about there. Now I can remove my tape. And check because that eyelet has slid down so I'm gonna check and make sure that it's still in the middle where it needs to be so we're gonna go ahead and just continue to finish uh, tightening it down Now as we're getting close to the end right here, we're going to take a piece of thread, put it underneath, <clears throat> take this gold thread, put it underneath our thread, and then continue to wrap it.
Once we get to the end, we're going to let the tension off. And then this will go through the loop. We're going to take our gold right here. We're going to go ahead and pull that through. Now we just clip this excess right here off. Kind of clean it up. There's a few gaps in there. It's, like I said, this is my first time. So that doesn't look too bad though. All right, so that's the first one. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off camera. I've got seven more to put on and then we'll be ready to go back and put our thread finish on and then the tip and that should wrap this thing up so whenever i come back i'll have all the eyes put on and we'll be ready to put the tip on okay so i've got all the eyes put on and everything's wrapped next step is to put the tip on and it says i should be able to cut some of this glue with the razor blade and then put it inside that tiny hole. Okay, there's a little bit. Oh, almost lost it. So I'm gonna get more glue. Just put it inside the hole. There we go. Just keep cutting tiny slices and I'm gonna keep putting them in, in the hole. One more piece ought to do. It's already kind of sticking out of the hole just a little bit. All right, let's see if that might be too big. Getting all, there we go. All right. I'm going to use these pliers and I've got a heat gun over here. I'm going to heat up that glue until it melts and then it should slide right over the tip of the fishing rod. That actually melted really fast, and now I've got room. I'm going to put a little bit more uh, glue in there. All right, I added a little bit more glue. You can see it's coming out of the hole now, so it's full of glue. Just going to slide it onto the tip. Turn that off. 
off. All right, I've pushed that in. That appears to be about as far as that's gonna go. Glue already feels good and dry. And that, might have to turn that just a little bit, but looks like that's fairly straight. So now I'm just gonna wrap the tip and then we'll apply the epoxy. Okay, so this is the last step of the rod build. It's time to add the epoxy. We are using Pro Coat, and again, it is gonna be two parts. There is a resin and a hardener, and then on the back of here, there are measurements. So we're gonna start with three, sorry, I didn't mean to bump the camera, three milliliters, I guess. Is that what the measurement is? Anyways, we're gonna go down to the 10. Now we're gonna go one more down to the nine, there we go. And then we'll do the same thing. Here. Then we've got a stir stick to mix this up. Mix it up for probably about two minutes and then we'll start adding the epoxy. Okay, I've stirred it up for about two minutes and then there were some bubbles in it. I zapped it real quick with a heat gun just to kind of knock some of the bubbles out. And now it's time to put the epoxy on. So we're gonna do a really thin coat And then we'll let it set for 24 hours and then we'll come back in tomorrow and we'll do another coat. This first coat's gonna just be really thin, try to saturate all the threads. And then we'll come back and we'll put a little bit thicker coat in tomorrow. So that's one eyelet. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest off camera. And then uh, tomorrow I'll hit it with the second coat and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so it's finished. That is the rod in its entirety. It wasn't the easiest thing I've ever done, but I'm pretty happy at how it turned out. And I stopped by Bass Pro Shop on my way home and I got a new reel for it. I got a Fluger President, so these crappie better watch out. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you wanna see me build another rod, Put it in the comments, let me know what type of rod you'd like to see me build because I'll definitely be doing that again. And if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it.